Hi folks, this is me again with another one of my videos. Now this video is going to be a very simple one. It pretty much shows you how to back up your XPMC. Um, it's a good method in case you get a new tablet or a new phone, iPhone or Android, or if you have to for some reason wipe out your system and you lose all your settings. With this backup, and with this method for backup, it allows you to uh, restore all your settings from XPMC. Um, so pretty much what you have to do to start off is go into systems, setting, add-ons, uh, and from there you click on get add-ons. And what you're going to look for here is, um, xbmc.org add-ons. And from here, you're going to click on uh, Program Add-ons. And you scroll down to the near bottom for um, XBMC Backup. I already have it installed, but I just want to show you the path. So you click that. It says Uninstall for me again because I already have it installed. But what you would do is just click on Install. And here at the bottom, it goes back to the screen, I believe. And here at the bottom, it will tell you that it's been enabled. And once you have that, you can exit out of here by clicking Home. And uh, you're going to go to Programs. Okay, and then click on Program Add-ons. And here you will see um, the XBMC backup. So just click that. And you get the two options to back up and restore. Again, back up if you want to back up with the settings you have. And then restore will be for restoring uh, what was backed up. So you'll click on backup. And you'll get this error if you've never created a path for a backup. Um, so just click OK. And then don't worry about this top section. It's the second one you want. It says browse remote path. You can click on that and click on external storage and then pick a folder that you want to that you would like to install i mean sorry to save the backup uh download to work and then after you pick it just click ok and then from here you just click ok and it it takes a, it depending on all your settings it may take a few um now after that's done it's there and it also gives you an option if i go back in here um, and click on uh, backup. I was saying that because I didn't save it. Um, it allows you to save it to a Dropbox, but for some reason it says uh, Dropbox key, uh, Dropbox secret. I haven't used that yet, um, but I know that option is there. So once it's backed up, it's backed up. Now, if you got a new tablet, new iPhone or Android um, and you want to restore it or if you have to wipe your system um, go follow the path to install this um, add-on and then you go into there like we did before click on restore same thing you get the error just click OK and you're gonna browse for that path again and you just go ahead and click on the external storage and this uh, download photo should be where you have now. I should back up. After you back it up, after you click, after you have backed it up, you should probably save that file somewhere else. Maybe on your uh, flash drive or maybe on a um, external hard drive. Somewhere where it's not just left on a tablet. Because if you lose the tablet, if you lose the phone or... Um, computer etc you know it all, your backups will be gone as well so have it somewhere safe so that way when you do get your new phone tablet computer you can load that backup in that same path which will be the external and then you know for instance the download and then after you load it on there maybe copy it using a computer or so then you can go back here 
after you go in here and click on uh, restore browse for path you'll have it preloaded before um, going here and then you can click on external storage and then click on downloads and then run it and that takes some time to a setup but once that's done uh, all your settings and your backups will be there pretty simple and it works um, but yeah that's pretty much it this video is to show you how to back up your XBMC and how to restore it I uh, thank you all for watching it please click like I truly appreciate it if you click like and subscribe as well. Um, I will continue to post more of these miscellaneous videos like this. And uh, thank you for watching and um, look out for my other videos. Thank you.